Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Are you ready? Fasten your seatbelts. Drivers, start your engines. Race activated. Sheer passion. Change the game forever. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Racing with Celebs. Here we go again. My name is Donovan Clyde and welcome back to another installment of Racing with Celebs. We are set and ready to go with another jam-packed episode where we ignite our celebrities' adrenaline. But as always, our word for the day, bump and run. A move with origins in stock car racing, where a trailing car intentionally bumped the car in front in an attempt to pass. Now let's see how little we can bump and run our way through this episode. Today we are at Swartkop's Raceway. During the period of 1988 to 1995, Swartkop's Raceway proved beyond doubt that the Pretoria Centurion venue was viable. The facility was supported by the public and proved to be very popular with competitors and associated sponsors. Swartkop's was born out of a passion with a purpose to create and that is why we are here today. Then of course the moment we've all been waiting for, our celebrity for today, Nastasia Arendse. Nastasia Arendse is a financial journalist based in Johannesburg. Now having debuted on radio as a traffic reporter for YFM, Nastasha has been in broadcasting for nine years and has worked in both television and radio. Now as a television anchor, she presented Closing Bell East Africa and Open Exchange on International Business Channel, CNBC Africa. She has also hosted business shows on SAFM and Classic FM. She has interviewed a range of business leaders, including Barclays CEO Maria Ramos, Bitvist founder Brian Joffe, Com Air CEO Eric Fenter and former Mozambican President Joaquim Giussano, amongst others. Now that we know who our celebrity is for the day, it's time to cross over to my friend Johan Sneeman. Thanks Donovan. Welcome to each and everyone. We hope that you are excited just as we are to meet our celebrity today. My name is Johan Sneeman and today our celebrity will get in behind the wheel of a BMW race car. The Bridgestone BMW Car Club was founded in 1981 when the BMW Club of Southern Africa was founded in Johannesburg, representing cars and motorcycles. The BMW Car Club hosts a variety of events that include track days, time trials and the race series. Now that we know more about the BMW Club Racing Series, it's time to introduce you to our celebrity, Nastasia Arendse. Nastasia, welcome to Racing with Celeste. It's an honor for us to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Have you ever done racing before? No, I haven't. I've watched many episodes of Formula One, so I'm hoping at some point some aspects of it will kick in, but I'm looking forward to it. Any Formula One drivers you look up to or, or follow? <laughs> uh, Lewis Hamilton, uh, I think he's really, really cool. So it would be awesome if he was here because he'd give me some pointers. But nonetheless, uh, there's some professionals here and I, I'm sure they've been doing it for a number of years. So I'm in good hands. And are you nervous? I'm excited more than nervous. Uh, I'm wondering whether that might change once the seat belt's fastened and we're ready to go. However, right now it's just excitement and I'm looking forward to it. What are your expectations for today? I'm expecting either after this I'll be a frequent attendee for races like this or I might be motivated enough to go and do like an advanced driving course. So, yeah. Well, to make sure that you have a great time and time for your safety brief. Awesome. Up next, more action to come as our celebrity Natasha Arensa takes to the track. Are you ready? 
Welcome back to Racing with Celebs. This week we're at the SWAT Cops Raceway and we're with our celebrity Natasha Ardenser, a financial journalist based in Johannesburg. She, of course, I'm sure is well known in South Africa, has hosted many shows on national television. And this week she's swapping the camera for a car on the track at SWAT Cops Raceway as part of the BMW Car Club Racing Series, which is supported by Bridgestone. Here you can see some preparation of the cars as we get ready to go onto the circuit for the first time. Let's run you through the driver's list and tell you who is going to be lining up on the grid. So Natasha Arnensa is in the yellow estate, the BMW, with the number 330 on the side. You can see her there in fourth in shot as she just goes through your picture. Jagger Robertson as well as Alan Hillingen in the amongst the mix there as well. Mark Jones in the 23. You can see the rest of the drivers. Quite a packed field for everybody to deal with. Nicholas Van Sale in the number one as we look further down the order at Trevor Longall so in the 13. So this is going to be very interesting here for Natasha to contend with. She's starting quite far up the order. It's a rolling start for our drivers here at the SWAT Cops Raceway. As the green flag is flown and we are racing down towards that first corner. So in towards the first turn. Now, as I understand it, the drivers were taking it very easy on the first few laps just to give Natasha a good idea of what it's like to be competing in and amongst the packs. You can see her there just going around at her steady pace and the rest of the drivers following suit as they come through the field. We run on board here with Natasia as well. You see very smooth inputs then on the steering wheel and just taking it very steady and very easy. Of course, this is what we're doing with this series is throwing the celebrities outside of their comfort zone. So, of course, it may seem like they're just going slow out on circuit and that they're not driving to their full potential, but I guarantee that they are doing as much as they can and of course it's a very big challenge it's very different from doing something that doesn't give you that sort of fear factor if you like with driving and that is one of the big things is that of course you've got to bear in mind that you need to protect yourself and protect the car and it's important to take it easy in these first few laps just to get yourself acquainted with the machinery but here is Natasha then into the infield sort of stadium section of this SWAT Cops Raceway circuit. You can see her sitting there in third position in the 330 machine. The BMW Car Club actually hosts track days on a regular basis, which allows members of the public to come and join them. You can bring your own car and come and race on the circuit. Different makes and models join them, not just BMWs, anything from Porsches to Lotuses, anybody is welcome. And it's a great way to start out. You can contact the BMW Car Club in Gauteng for more information. Here we are then on lap three as the drivers come down in towards the first corner. Just looking there at the 171 as we come through the picture. That is Shane Grobler. We ride on board here with Grobler then into this hairpin bend. This is a prime overtaking opportunity on this lap. Onto the back straight. And again, this is another opportunity to get yourself into the slipstream and set up a move in towards a heavy braking zone through this long right-hander here. And then into this stadium section there as well. That is a move being made by the 555. William up the inside then. He goes through ahead of a position in that stadium section. You can hear the dump valve on the turbo just giving that whooshing noise as he comes through that stadium section. If you've watched our other episodes involving rallying so far in Racing with Celebs, then I am sure that you'll have heard that uh, dump valve on the turbo, that whistling noise. Now here then is Natasha, just losing out of position as the rest of the field, taking it very easily and gingerly going through this right-hander. Just coming then up the inside, that's number 92, Fabio Fadetto going through on Natasia Arenza at the moment. And into that stadium section, of course, they're just taking it easy here. There's nothing really to gain from them doing anything to intimidate, intimidate Natasia at the moment. So being steady, being calm, being smooth is the name of the game. That's what Natasia is doing. And the other drivers, of course, all well experienced in terms of racing, just taking things that little bit easier. So through that right-hander they go. This, of course, is where the crowd would normally line the circuit here at the SWAT Cops Raceway. Lots of racing action takes place at this circuit. 
That was a purpose-built two and a half kilometres in length, an international standard of circuit. I'd say a big welcome back to Trevor Long in the number 13, by the way. He's just had back surgery and he's returning to the circuit for the first time. Great to see him back on the circuit. Here we are on lap 7 out of 10, so this is later on in the race. That we're looking at there is the 317. Matthew Wadley just coming through your picture in the white machine. He's got the number 23 pretty close behind, which is Mark Jones. So let's see how these positions work out between those two drivers, Wadley and Jones, then Wadley in the white machine, Jones in the yellow machine, through the left hander they go, down the hill and in towards that run to the final corner. Getting very close between these two drivers as we come in towards the closing stages of this race. Here's Jager Robertson, the race leader in the black BMW, the number 76, down in towards that first corner. A nice comfortable advantage he has got over the rest of the field through that left-hander. Nice and steady through there. On to the final lap we go. There is Natasia Ardensa in the BMW taxi, as it's known, in the 330, the yellow estate machine. As we look there at Trevor Long, as I said earlier on, returning from back surgery. Great to see him back on the circuit, if you'll pardon the expression. As the drivers come down, it was that hairpin bend for the last time. There is Ardensa, just taking a wider line through the hairpin, nice and steady through there. And the driver's doing a really good job of just keeping their cool, keeping their composure, keeping calm whilst Natasha gets herself, again, used to this circuit and this machine. Jagger Robertson still leading the way in the number 76, down in towards that right-hander. Nice and steady as the drivers come through there. This, of course, is where other racing categories are held, along with the, or amongst, I should say, the Historic Racing South Africa Association. And they have lots of exciting action here. Lots of historic cars from years gone by, but the BMW Racing Club here in South Africa, proving again that we can have very close, exciting, racing up and down the field there goes the 555 through your picture of William once again making his move as he goes up the order on the final lap checker flag is about to come out then it's going to be the number 76 who will take the win of Jager Robertson who's done a very nice job of holding things on the straight and narrow then here so far the checker flag is out drivers over the timing line Natasia Ardensa, our celebrities race, comes to its conclusion. A first time out on circuit. Ready then for the second race for our drivers here at the Swart Cops Raceway. In towards the right hander we go, the pace car leading the field round. There is Ardensa, our celebrity this week in the car. The yellow machine in third position at the start of this race and let's see what the drivers are going to do as we get the green flag out and the Bridgestone BMW Club Racing Series is underway then here once again at the Swart Cops Raceway. There is Arenta with the tighter line into that first corner as the drivers come down there. You can see the number 92, that's Fabio Fidetto in the newer looking BMW M3 on the outside of that first corner. And again, Arenza just taking it nice and steady through those first series of corners. I know it may seem slow, and of course, it is slow in comparison to the rest of the field in terms of what they can produce with their potential. But you've got to bear in mind that, of course, this is Natasia's first time on circuit. It's very intimidating being on a racetrack, let alone with other competition, and of course, having to try and do that at racing speed. So taking it steady and building up that confidence slowly is a really crucial part of the journey of learning how to drive on a circuit. There's lots of other things to consider, braking points, racing lines. That, of course, by racing lines, I mean you start on the widest part of the circuit, you take a nice tight line going into the corners, hit the apex of the corner, which is the tightest part of it, and then you run it towards the outside to get as maximum exit speed as possible. Natasia not troubling the apex too much on these corners, but again, just keeping things steady as it stands at the moment, which is pretty important, as I said, at this stage. 
So down and towards that final corner we go. Once again, there is Natasia in the yellow 330 machine. As I mentioned earlier on, if you want to get yourself involved in this, then the BMW Racing Club hosts lots of track days, not just for BMWs. We're now at the halfway stage in this race then. Lap five out of 10, we are on here. Down and towards that right hand of the drivers are going. That's a move being made by the 555. William then up the inside of the 335 of Bernard de Govia. So de Govia then loses a position. Just looking there at the red number 27, that's Alan Hillingen in his BMW 3 Series. The turbo whistling away as you can hear it then as he comes through that right-hander into that final section out of the stadium on the lap. And then down and towards those final series of corners. Allen doing a really good job leading from the front as it stands at the moment. The rest of the field evolved in some close combat as you can see some moves being made there. Here's William on the inside making a move up into what looks to be the podium positions. So moving ahead in his BMW, we ride on board with our celebrity once again, Natasha Renter in the 330. You hear the engine there revving up. She's got the advantage of a paddle shift gearbox here then, by the looks of things from that steering wheel, but I think she is using the stick shift and the manual gearbox. There is Wadley. We saw him featuring in that first race, Matthew Wadley, earlier on in the 317, just coming up behind Natasha Arenza. Is he going to make a move up the inside? Again, a nice tight line through that hairpin is really important. It's all about getting the exit on out of this hairpin and onto this straight because any mistakes that you make, you carry that mistake all the way down into the next section on the circuit. There's number 94. That is Hein van der Meer, who's a bit further down the order than I'm sure he would like to be. As we see a move being made there by the number 92. Fabio Fedetto moving his way up the field in that stadium section once again. A very crucial overtaking point on this lap and a very popular one for our drivers here as well. Coming in towards the closing stages then of this race on the final lap we sit now then. Here is Natasha Ardenza. Some bit of smoke coming from the rear of the car there by the looks of things from that shot we could just see. She's got Matthew Wadley company from behind. Let's see whether Wadley makes a move before the end of this race. Indeed he does. Down the inside at the safest opportunity on the final lap. Into that right-hander. And the track taxi moves down another position. But a great job, it has to be said, from Natasha Ardenza to keep things on the straight and narrow on track for the first time in her life. In racing conditions as well. And a real opportunity for her to gain some experience and... I'm sure she'll be smiling after this one because it's very seldom you see somebody coming back from the circuit having not enjoyed it. Checker flag then is out. The final race is completed here at the SWAT Cops Raceway. A brilliant job from Natasha Arenza and our other competitors. The first lap, I mean, the first round was a bit intimidating with all the cars uh, behind you. Um, at some point you started worrying, am I too slow for them? And then uh, the second time got a little bit better, started warming up and feeling a little bit more comfortable. I think in my mind I was like, have fun, enjoy it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, you know, it's great to have somebody like Anastasia uh, uh, get a try in a car like this. It's a totally different feeling than a road car. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for us to uh, get some practice in. Uh, we've got a race next weekend here. So uh, we get some laps and uh, some uh, track time to uh, try and see if we can improve our times. And I hope she had a great time. Experience of the track is always a good day. Um, it's nice to share the experience with other people that don't know racing. And yeah, it's just a bunch of fun. Join us after the break. We'll be catching up with Natasha Arlenza, as celebrity this week. Welcome back to Racing with Celebs as we catch up with Natasha Ardenza. 1. What is your dream car? 
my dream car right now would be like right now would be the BMW M4. Two, describe your perfect holiday. Perfect holiday is the beach, definitely. So probably um, Cabo or the Maldives and with my partner and some friends. That would be ideal holiday. Three, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, art galleries and horse riding. Four, if you can choose between a sports car, SUV or 4x4, which one? Sports car, SUV. Five, I have Googled myself. <laughs> yes, I wanted to know what people ride. It's also quite interesting because sometimes when you Google, just type in your name, it puts out all the different things that people might be searching. So that's always fun to look at. Six, if you get stuck in a road with a flat tire, do you change it yourself or call someone for assistance? Phone multiple people, not just someone. <laughs> Seven, I have bought takeout and claimed that I cooked it myself. Yes, on numerous occasions. But the trick is, don't ask them to make the takeouts perfect. Because that gives you away. Eight, what do you like to do on a Sunday afternoon? Uh, watch TV and take naps. Nine, what music do you enjoy listening to? Uh, it switches between alternative rock to classical music to EDM to drum and bass, so it depends what mood I'm in. 10. I have used my fame to get a freebie. Yes, I did. 11. What is your favourite colour on a car? Like a grey, like a dark grey. 12. Do you allow anyone to eat in your car? <laughs> no. <laughs> Natasha, thank you so much for your time today. That is all from us for today's episode. We hope you had a great time racing with us. Now, for more information on the series, the celebrities or the categories, please visit our Facebook page Racing with Celebs or you can download our mobile app Racing with Celebs from the Apple iStore or Google Play Store. Till next week, keep safe. Asya. Next week on Racing with Celebs. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Catch all the action on Ignition TV, DSTV Channel 189. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video.